Today I will compare Windows 11 22H2 version and hear this, Windows 11 23H2 version. Yep, I want to note that 23H2 version is not completely finished. This is an insider preview only. Understood. Literally that's mean that you have such a possibility to test this version if you are in Windows Insider program. So theoretically you can download this ISO, although now it has become more difficult to do and possibly it may have some bugs because it's still not the full version. I hope you understand that. And that's why I recommend you watch this video to see if newer Windows 11 version will improve speed of your laptop or PC. Hmm. I will test everything in virtual machine and allocate similar specs for both of these versions. Believe me. Before proceeding, I installed the latest Windows updates. So, let's get started. As you can see, they are completely different versions. I would like to remind you that 22H2 is a free available version that can be downloaded from the official Microsoft website. And 23H2 is a beta version that may have bugs because it has not been officially released yet. 22H2 takes 19.5 GB of space and 23H2 19.2 GB. The difference is only 300 MB, so 23H2 is a bit lighter. I know that I run Windows on a virtual machine, but I noticed that the 23H2 version uses the processor more often and to be honest, I wouldn't say I like it very much, but I won't blame this version in advance because it's not ready yet. Although Microsoft deliberately makes the system requirements high so that people buy new processors. In fact, the 22H2 and 23H2 use the same amount of RAM, so I didn't see any particular difference between them. Don't be fooled if you can see 200 megabytes more or less on the screen, because everything changes every second. Nothing special here. 22H2 used 36 background processes and 23H2 39 background processes. Maybe it's because the newer version has more features. If you look at the Windows processes, they show similar results. 84 Windows processes. A short speed test. I will reboot the virtual machine and see which one will boot faster. So, let's get it started. Both versions pass the speed test identically, so there is no slower or faster one here. Let's start the test in applications. As you can see, I allocated the same number of cores and threads. Base frequency is identical as well, 2.5 GHz. With CPU Z, we can see how many points the CPU can score in multi thread and single thread. Unexpectedly, the older version scored more points in two cases. The newer version, in my opinion, did not show the best result. By the way, I tried to repeat the test and the result did not become better for 23H2 version, but only worse, especially on one core test. The next program in our list is AIDA64 and its most popular benchmark. CPU Queen. Surprisingly, Windows 11 22H2 scored as many as 3000 points more than 23H2 and definitely it wins without a doubt. I cannot understand Microsoft magic. Are older version better than new ones? Now I understand why Windows 8.1 is so fast. Let's proceed to the benchmark in Cinebench R15. In this test, all cores and threads of the processor works at 
23H2 scored a significant 3 points more than 22H2, making it the winner and the best windows of all time. Of course, I'm just joking because both versions showed a fairly similar result. New program in our list, Geekbench 6. Just like in CPU-Z, this up bench CPU in multi-thread and single-thread. So, let's get it started. In this situation, the result was again unexpectable. The 22H2 showed a slightly better single-core result, but much worse multi-thread result. Write in the comments whether you test your CPU in this benchmark. Behold, the final test, unzipping the archive. I would like to remind you that before starting all the tests, I received the latest Windows updates. By the way, this time I'm unzipping an archive larger than 5GB. In the final result, the older Windows 11 version managed 2 seconds faster than the newer 23H2 version. Wow, but frankly, the difference is not significant. Hmm, my conclusions, no comments, I'm serious, 23H2 version it's not officially ready and it's hard to draw some conclusions. I want to remind you that today we tested only performance, not new function, not new interface or design, only performance, so please don't get me wrong, because I know that Windows 11 23H2 has some new features, and if you wish, I will make such a video. Please let me know in the comments below. If this video was useful for you, please like it, and I recommend watching a video where I compare Ghost Spectre with Atlas OS.